Hello and welcome to the Health Q channel. This is a health awareness channel where our mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of your health. I am your host Meghna Dave and in this channel we talk about different health topics, try to raise awareness about it, educate you, inform you and all at the same time also share some health tips so that you can get benefit of getting out from it as soon as possible. So new here consider subscribing. Today's topic is all about obesity in osteoarthritis. Now remember in past video I spoke about arthritis in general and there are many kinds of arthritis and out of all those arthritis osteoarthritis or else you can say degenerative arthritis is most commonest form of arthritis that is experienced in humankind. Every fifth person suffers from arthritis after the age of 50 or 60. And Obesity is an additional factor that triggers and at the same time worsens the situation of osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is nothing but a condition where due to wear and tear damage to the cartilage happens due to which the joint space reduces and the bony ends kind of rub between each other. Now this friction leads to release or as erosion of the bone and symptom of pain and other associated symptoms like joint stiffness and muscular weakness. Although there are some risk factors associated with osteoarthritis like age, injury, lifestyle factor but obesity has a very logical reasoning that is one of the biggest risk factor for a person suffering from osteoarthritis or else a person having a higher chances of developing osteoarthritis. The more weight that falls on your knee joint, more damage happens to your knee joint. Hence, Every excess pound of weight that falls on your knee joint, more additional 4 pound of pressure falls on your knee joint. Just imagine the amount of stress that falls on your knee joint and what kind of damage it can create around your knee. Hence, it puts more risk of development of osteoarthritis in your kidney. But it's not just the excessive stress that falls on your knee joint is something that is more risky about obesity. But in general, fat is an active tissue and it releases certain chemicals which are more prone or else increases the chances of your body to develop inflammation. And again, since osteoarthritis is an inflammatory condition, it's very important that these fatty tissues should be away or else should be minimum in your body. That's the reason fat should be always in consideration in terms of reduction when a person is experiencing knee joint at, at any stages of the life. So now the question arises, how to stay away from obesity or how to manage obesity? Now most of the patients who suffer from osteoarthritis and are willing to reduce weight have this common issue that how to exercise when the knee problem exists. And that's why physiotherapist role comes to picture. I would highly recommend you to visit to a physiotherapist who can suggest you certain exercises that not only improves the strength of your knee joint but at the same time also helps you in reducing your weight or else managing your weight or else preventing obesity. The key factors that helps in reducing your weight and also at the same time prevents osteoarthritis are diet control. Nutrition is a very important aspect of our life. Hence, having a nutritious diet that is free of cholesterol creating substances or is free of obesity creating substances is very important. If you find it difficult to understand what kind of foods you should eat and what kind of foods you should avoid, always seek in help from a nutritionist or a cell dietitian. Having an active lifestyle and adopting some active ways of doing your day-to-day -day chores helps you in preventing development of obesity. Apart from this, following an exercise regime early in your life also helps you in preventing development of osteoarthritis in your later stages of the life. Here, you can take the help of fitness coaches or else joining gym or any kind of physical activity like yoga, pilates, you name it. And there are many kind of different exercise regimes or else fitness regimes that you can adopt if you are in that early stage or else even at a younger age who are more prone to develop arthritis. So make sure you indulge in any kind of physical activity. Last but not the least, mindset is the most important thing have this mindset that your health is in your hands and you can prevent maximum kind of health problems in your life this mindset will help you to take good amount of steps early on in order to prevent yourself from this 
bad condition called as obesity and at the same time this problem of osteoarthritis. So friends this was an introduction about how obesity and osteoarthritis are related. So make sure you stay tuned with us on this channel by subscribing to our channel, pressing that bell icon so that you can hit notify every single time we upload a new video and also make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and family. On that note I will see you in another video. Thank you.